Hi, welcome to the Market Outlook. So for today, we'll be looking at Lucid Motors. We'll see what's the technical analysis right now for Lucid Motors, ticker name CCIV, and also what are the trades that I'm in, and the profits, all losses, and what are the open positions remaining. So let's dive straight into this. So if you look at Lucid Motors, CCIV is trading at $26.54. Previously, in our previous tanker analysis, it was trading around $22. So right now, price action has broke past this resistance level, shoot above, almost reaching $28. And then right now, that you see some strong rejection and price is currently trading at a $26 range. Okay, so what I would preferably like to see is that there is a healthy pullback to these previous resistance now form support at about $24 and we see some consolidation around this support. If support holds well, we can expect a price upwards and the next target will be about $32 range. Okay, so when back when we were doing a technical analysis on CCIV, I entered into two positions, a call option and a call spread. So for a call option, it's pretty simple. We bet that the price is going to go high. So when we are buying call option, when we so for a call option, it's more straightforward. When we buy a call option, we are expecting the price will go higher. So I bought a call option at a strike of twenty five dollars, and right now prices have gone past to twenty six point five four as of now. So for this naked call option, I've closed the position. I'll flash a screenshot of the PL above is about two 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 dollars and. I still have a remaining call spread that's still in play. I'll let that ride out because currently I'm more or less covered with my cost. So for the call spread, what is the call spread? So in simple terms, call spread is similar to a call. I'm betting that the price will go up. So when I do a call spread, I have two strike prices instead. The first strike price being $25. So I expect the stock price to go above $25. But I will sell another call option at about $35 and I expect prices to stay below $35. So essentially what I'm saying is that I expect prices to trade within this range and preferably towards $35 where I will be able to reap maximum profits. So that call spread, sorry, that call spread is still in play and we'll see how this goes. Preferably, CCIV gets a move higher, and if it does not, there's still support and EMAs to hold it there, and we'll see how price action goes in the next few days. If price action does happen to come below this stock, I mean, if price action does come below this supply zone, if price action does come below this supply zone, I'll be looking to take profits, Although the second position, if I take profit by then, would be more or less break even. So let's see. We'll monitor how the price goes and we'll keep you updated. So if you want to look at the fundamental side of Lucid Motor CCIV, what I do know is the reason or the driver behind this push upwards, this strong push upwards, is that Tesla is currently stopping production of its Tesla S Plate Plus. So essentially, that's like the top, 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 top tier of well, Tesla Model S, if I'm not wrong. So when we have that taken out of the market, there's a gap for Lucid Motors, which is a premium electric vehicle to fill up that gap. So that's why there's a strong surge in prices. And secondly, we also know there's all this GME, AMC, short squeeze saga, and CCIV just happens to be one on the short squeeze list to be a potential target for retail traders to push this price up. So fundamentally, these are the main reasons for the drivers. But just looking at technical analysis, we kind of called it in last week where we said prices will move forward because it broke back past the resistance form new support. And right now, prices have formed another new level of support at the $24 range. So we'll continue monitor and we'll keep you guys updated. So Next, I would like to go through is Kernu. So Kernu, ticker symbol GOEV. Essentially, Kernu is a bit under the radar. Not a lot of people know of this stock. So 
what this company does is a building an electric pickup or van i will show the picture here it's kind of cute but um we don't really care how cute it is we just trade what the chart tells us so looking at this technical analysis we are right now at the folly time frame and essentially this is the divergence play right because we are seeing lower price action here let me draw this out and we are seeing higher rsi movements here so you see this divergence which if i draw with a line i just connect these lows connect these highs what this chart is telling us is that although price are moving down it seems that the stock price is getting more attractive to buyers to buy there's higher momentum building up and we can expect a change in trend or in this case a change in downtrend towards the upside so where i entered this stock was currently when it was trading at eight dollars and 88 cents i thought for chinese it 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 is pretty good but i mean okay this is enough the mumbo jumbo but technically there was a very good setup of a divergence play here so let me get rid of this ad okay <clears throat> so what we see at this technical analysis is essentially prices have always been rejected from the emas be it the red line the yellow line or the 50 day ema so when we saw price broke above the ema and you see that price did sustain and held well above that ema we decided to enter in at a more aggressive position so if you break it down go to the one hourly time frame let me just zoom in here you can see at this point when i was entering around eight dollars and 88 cents around here it was very aggressive i did not wait for a retest i essentially saw that even on the one hourly there was good support shown when it broke through the 50-day ema if you can see over here it broke through the 50-day ema chopped around a bit and they soon found support and bounced up so and when it was bouncing up from the ema that showed me further confirmation that okay this could be a good momentum play and let's enter into a position so my position for this stock play is that i entered into 10 call options i currently got out at about ten dollars and 88 cents um, i got a half of the position to manage the risk and then let the other half ride it out currently what i'm seeing in the stock market is we are seeing lower momentum on this short squeeze play so i would expect price action to not be so bullish anymore so if you zoom out of the hourly time frame we go to the 40 time frame we can see that there's some level of support here so what i aim to do is for the other half of the position we'll look at okay will prices consolidate around this support then after that move up or will prices let me draw a red one for this or will prices just break through try retest but in the end break down so if prices do break through the support i'll look at exiting my remaining positions which will kind of more or less be a bit of profit only or break even and if it moves up i'll take profit at the next level so my call option was having a strike of 15. so let me just get out my lines here uh, at $15 price level this is the strike for my call option I'll flash out the PL from the screen so half of the position was closed at about total about 400 to 500 USD the other half is still running open positions about 300 USD so let's see how it goes if support level does hold well at this 9 to $10 range we can expect for upside but if not we can see further downside of momentum and I'll probably just close it off when it breaks support. We'll keep it updated and as of now, this is a trade recap of CCIV and Canoe. A very electric vehicle video for this. So do, do let me know if you did take some value from this video. If you did earn some money from the technical analysis previously, subscribe to the channel. It'll help the channel out a lot and like this video. Thank you and see you again.